This is an exercise to make us think about probabilities and particularly conditional probabilities. So we have a table of uh, information. So that comes from a sample of 50 students who've been asked um, about their gender and about their smoking habits, or in particular, leave whether they're smoking now, whether they used to be a smoker but quit, or whether they have never smoked. So altogether, we are having 50 students, of which 30 were male and 20 female, uh, 26 are currently smoking, 12 used to smoke but quit, and 12 never smoked. Okay. Um, so first question here, what's the probability that a randomly selected student is a smoker now? So in this question, we are only asking about one of the two random variables. So we're not interested here in the gender of the respondent. We are only interested in this aspect. Are you a smoker now? And well, to answer A, what we are really looking for is in using notation, the probability of S now, okay? The probability that someone is a smoker now. That is, in this case, 26 divided by 50, okay? Because 26 out of 50 answered that they were a smoker, that is 0.52, 52%. So, question B. Given that a student is male, what is the probability that a randomly selected student will be a smoker? So now, both variables come into play. And we are basically saying, given that a student, sorry here, given that a student is male, what do we then think about the probability that that student is a smoker? So I'm going to get that yellow highlighter. We are basically just thinking about these observations here, right? these yellow highlighted observations. Notationally, we would say, the probability that someone is a smoker now given they are male. So, and here, how do we do that? We're having 12, 12, and we're having 30 male students altogether. So in this case, this is 0.4, okay? You see, hopefully, that these numbers are, of course, on this occasion, totally made up. I hope that these probabilities would really be smaller. Part C. Given that a student is female, what's the probability that a randomly selected student will be a smoker? So let's get a different highlighter. Now we're asking, given that a student is female, so now we are only thinking about these observations these green highlighted observations. So the probability we are asking is, what's the probability that someone is smoking now, given we have a female? So here we're having 14 over 20, which is 70%. So what about D? If you add up the two probabilities in B and C, what do you get? Is there a mistake? So basically, we're asking the question here. Add up these two probabilities. Probability S now given M plus the probability of S now given female what we get in this case is a number, we get 0 0.4 plus 0 0.7, and that is equal to 1.1. And so what this question is sort of getting at is, hang on, 
well, why should we get probabilities which add up to more than one? And the key here is that we added up is two conditional probabilities, but from two different distributions, like this yellow distribution and the green distribution. If you add up numbers from different distributions, no probability law tells you that these numbers shouldn't be adding up to more than one. So if now instead we do what's being asked in part E, if we build a distribution for the smoking outcomes conditional on a respondent being male, so now we are basically building the entire conditional distribution here, that yellow distribution, how does that look like? So we're having three outcomes, S now, S quit, or S never. And all of them conditional on being male. S quit, so conditional on being male. So we want the probabilities for all of these outcomes. Now, this is now a distribution because if given we have we have a male we ask someone which of these three categories do you fall in never smoked i quit or i'm now smoking then everyone will answer one of these categories so this is what we call a partition of the sample space and these probabilities once we add them up they should equal to one so now what are these probabilities? The first one we already calculated, that was that 0.4, which we calculated here. It was, let's do that underneath, that was 12 over 30. Then uh, probability S quit given male, that is 8 divided by 30. So 8 divided by 30. And then the probability that someone never smoked given their male is 10 over 30. And that, if you calculate that, you can see they all have the same uh, denominator. The numerator is 12 plus 8 plus 10, which is 30. So we get a 1 here. Okay. And um, up here, what do we get? We get uh, that's a third. So that's 0.333. And then what do we have? We have 0.33 plus 0.4 is 0.73. So we have 0.2667 here. And that adds up to 1. So that yellow part, that is the conditional distribution, which we have then calculated the conditional probabilities here. That is a distribution and the values should add up to one. You could do, of course, exactly the same for the distribution conditional on having selected a female.